Hi, Christian Corley. I am here to have a bit of a chat about what I'm hoping for from Dot 2 Series 10. Um, because, you know, there's various things about Doctor Who over the last couple of years I haven't been entirely satisfied with. Now, I had hoped to do one of these uh, daily up until uh, the 15th when Doctor Who returns to TV at last, and which is exciting, but excitement hasn't really been there apart from the past few days, which is um, it's a bit strange. Now, today I'm recording this um, on um, Tuesday the 5th, and last night Doctor Who got big band. It's Wednesday the 5th, and last night on Tuesday Doctor Who got its press screening for the episode called The Pilot, and it's a general thumbs up apparently, so that is a nice thing. Um, and it seems that the Doctor's in a new place, his new companion is um, uh, Bill, she is in a new... We're, we're going to be seeing her in a way that we haven't seen the companion before, for a, kind of a introduced to the Doctor, sort of reintroduction to the Doctor, to Peter Capaldi's 13th Doctor. Because he is. Let's just leave it there. Um, Alright, 12th Doctor. But um, numerically speaking, he's a 13th. And, uh, or is he 14? I forget. Anyway, it's you know, it's this is this is possibly part of the problem. The the messing around with things, the fudging things, the massaging things that were didn't need to be massaged with that kind of permeates the Stephen Moffat era of Dot Two, and which is why I'm, I'm anxious and although I'm looking forward to the new series uh, in a way which I probably wouldn't have done last year. So perhaps it's it's good that Doctor Who's had such time off. Air. Yeah. Um, I do have some concerns about, you know, th decisions such as making it a pilot, making it sort of a new age. It's called the pilot. Steve Moffat said that it's a kind of not a reboot, but it's a jumping on point. And that's really what Chris Chibnall's era should be when that starts either um, late in 2018 or maybe even in 2019. We're not entirely certain at the moment when that will occur. Um, so, yeah, it's... Um, I mean, how do you feel about it? Are you really excited or have you had too much Stephen Moffat? Are you giving him one last chance for Series 10? Which I can't. I think probably most of us are. Um, have you stopped watching Doctor Who? God, I hope you haven't. But if it has got so bad for you that Russell T Davies era or even Stephen Moffat's first era, um, first uh, Doctor, um, his first year particularly, the first, first season, Series 5, um, which is very different to the show we have now, despite this having a very similar characterization for the Doctor, certainly in Series 9, uh, if that is something that you kind of, you want back, um, yeah, tell us. I'm very interested to know your thoughts, um, opinions that you've got on uh, where Doctor Who is now. Should it be a, is this a good time for a new era of Doctor Who, even if it's basically a one year era? Um, or, or should Stephen Moffat not have taken that decision? Was it his to take? I show when it probably was, but and he's probably doing it as much as he can. But if he's doing it now, could he not have done it earlier? Could he not have changed things around sooner? Or did he really need that gap in order to massage Doctor Who into a new shape? A bit like plasticine, I suppose, or Play-Doh. Or, and this is the thing, is this... Um, because we, we know that the, the the length of time between series is mostly due to Sherlock. Should Doctor Who have been Stephen Moffat's only project since 2010? Was Sherlock just too much for him to cope with at the same time, in your opinion? Uh, tell us. And uh, look out for another video soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.